to No Nails Master video. This is the Acer Aspire 3000. I've upgraded the processor from the traditional Mobile Simpron 2800 Plus to an AMD Turion Mobile Technology ML34 processor. You can read it right there. Oh, right there. With that measure. AMD Turion 64 Mobile Technology ML34. It's 1.8 gigahertz. I've got 64 bit support. By the way, I've got to take out the disk here. It's for our high definition network media player. Not fiddling with that right now. We don't even have high definition for that measure. Let's boot her up. I've set Windows to no GUI, GUI boot, so you won't see a boot screen. This is all you're going to see. Hard disk indicator light says it's busy, so it's actually doing the booting. It's running Microsoft Windows XP. It's a professional x64 edition. x64. Source pack 2. And I've um, adjusted the looks a bit and the sounds to copy a bit of OS X Tiger. Well, this is the OS X Leopard. I've got OS X Leopard ish stuff on this laptop. Because if we switch, if we look at the screen of the main system, we've got an OS X Tiger theme. Well, this is uh, on this and uh, that fail. Here on this screen, it's also uh, running Windows XP, but it's the 32-bit edition for some compatibility issues. And I don't want to use XP mode because I can't use Virtual PC 2007 if I want to use XP mode. That's a bit of a flaw in my opinion. Yeah, my Windows 7 installation got a bit uh, screwed up. Got to fix that. But I can do that later. Hail to the dual boots. So, to get back to the laptop here. Let's start the dock. Apparently, it's not set up to start at startup. Which is a good thing. Screw that. That's something I always had a problem with. Wireless connectivity in Windows XP. Great. That froze. Ah, oh, whatever. Go Windows XP, XP Professional X64 Edition, version 2003, sort of like two, or it's strict to me. Right. On the Turion 64 model technology, 1.8 gigahertz, with 992 megabytes of available RAM. One gigabyte is installed. I am connected to my network now. My SSID has got a very nice name. Default. <laughs> right, let's start up CPU-Z. It's a very nice dock. On first sight, you wouldn't notice it was Windows. You would say, hey, you've got a mini some kind of Hackintosh or something? Well, I tried Hackintosh, but there were some major compatibility issues. Just like I have with Linux. So this is the CPU-Z. MD2064 ML34. Lancaster Core. 1800 megahertz. 1 meg of level 2 cache. Very nice processor. SSE 1, 2, and 3. 
My sound phone only had SSE 1 and 2 and no 64 bit uh, compatibility. This one does, so, so now I can install 64 bit operating systems. But Windows XP X64 edition is not very compatible with at all. So what I'm, I think I'm going to do is uh, reinstall Windows Vista Home Basic. That worked the best for me on this laptop. There really isn't anything more I wanted to show you. I really love the duck. Right. So this was my, this is the end of my video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.